welcome once again to my channel remember to subscribe if you are new to this channel so you don't miss any of our tutorials in this video or in this short tutorial, i'm going to show you how to use python how to use the while loop in python so we're going to show you how you can create loops in python we're going to use the while loop in this particular tutorial so stay tuned and watch this video to the end so that you don't miss anything we actually going to do the basics and then we'll create a very simple guessing game using python okay using the loops as well so what is going to happen is that this is a simple guessing game so when you run this code and we have our secret number we have a secret word okay let me even call it secret word okay i'm going to call this secret word so this is going to be my secret word Okay, let me leave it as number for now because I have to change it throughout my code. So when I run this and you put in the right secret word and you run this code or hit enter, it will tell you, it will tell you that you your guess is right. That means you've won the game. But let's say you run this and then you put in anything that is not a secret number, it will keep asking you. Okay and you hit enter it will keep asking you until you get it right but we've actually set a limit as well our limit is what our guess limit is four so after after the fourth time after the fourth time you don't guess you're, you do not get it right then you actually lost the game so that is what we're going to do so if i go this time around and i get it wrong then that means you lost the game so that is what we are going to do in this tutorial so anytime you run the code it will prompt you to enter that secret number so we're going to create this game and see how best this is going to function okay so let's start so i have a new blank page in which we are going to start with so i'm going to set a number to start with let me just create a number and then i'll set this number to one and like i said a condition needs to be true for this particular for the while loop to run so let's see false a condition so that condition is going to be our number should be less than or equal to what 12 okay so this and bring a colon so every other thing that i'm going to write that means when the condition is true then that particular thing will be printed out so whatever i'm going to type now so i'll see if that condition is true so if it's true that the number is less than if it's true that if this number is less than or equal to 12 then you print whatever i'm going to type over here okay so this is going to be I see the number if i run this it's going to be infinite loop okay it will run and it will never stop because one is always going to be less than what 12 so we have to increment this okay so we have to come down here and say num is equal to plus or equal to what one so what this means is that just pick the number and add one to it so when it runs when it gets here it will add one to it so the next time the code gets here the number will no more be one but it will be two and it will compare it will be going on to get to 13 and then this time around 13 is not less than or equal to 12 and then my code will stop running so basically that's how loops run so if i run this code right now you can see that it has printed from one up to 12. there is no 13 13 will be printed because 13 would not be printed out because 13 is not less than or equal to 12. So our loop has actually ended. So that is basically how it's going to be. So once the condition is true, your code is going to run and so that condition becomes false. Okay. So that is what we talk. What that's what we meant about loop, looping. So when a condition is true, it's going to run until the condition becomes false. So now we're going to use this to build our game. So the game we have now is just a very simple game. We are going to very, we are going to build a very simple game. It's going to be a guessing game. So you have to guess when you get the right number or you get the right word, you move. So let's say let's say we have our secret word. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create my secret word. Okay, I'm basically going to use the camel case to create my variable. I'll talk more about this in another video so let's say my secret word is let me call it skyline because this is a string i'll do it this way so my secret word has been created and once i create my secret word i also want 
the person to guess a number or the person should guess that secret word so i can create another variable to store whatever the person is going to the, whatever word the person is going to guess so, okay so that is it the person whatever the person will guess will be stored over here and then the last thing is also going to be the guess count anytime the person guess i'm going to count that so let me see guess count and i'm going to set it to zero for now so now we've been able to get these two variables so let's go ahead and see well guess so whatever the person is going to guess what that is not equal to it's not in equal to what that the secret word okay whatever the person gets whatever the person gets is not equal to our secret word then we will still have to prompt the person to continue guessing until the person get the right word okay so that's what we are going to do but let's say let's now prompt the person to do that so we'll, we'll pick our guess variable and whatever the person is going to type or whatever guess the person is going to do we store it within that particular variable okay so let's see let's prompt the person let's see guess a number guess your secret word so this is what we're going to do the person need to guess that secret word and anytime the person gets a secret word we need to actually increments we need to actually count it okay so we're going to see the number of time a person gets that so this is going to be looping so we need to increment it so now our guess count the guess count is now going to be now going to be so we're going to see plus equal to one so basically this is what we have now so the last part of this is that when we break out of this loop meaning the person has actually won the person actually predicted the right weight okay so let's see if the person did not guess correctly this code will continue asking the person to keep on guessing but once the person gets it right once the person gets it right this code will be printed out so let's see your guess what's right then we can run this code and see if everything is going to work so as it gets your secret weight so this is actually what we are asking we're asking the person so this is our secret weight in which we've stored within the system so we we'll say guess your secret weight. let me just type in sky and then hit enter so it's a guess your secret weight because i've not gotten it right it will keep asking me so let's see I type in on that thing this is not right so it will keep asking me so this is basically what loops does so this is going to run until this is going to run until the condition is false okay so if i keep guessing wrong it will keep going like that but this is a very boring game because at least we need to set a limit when a person gets wrong when a person gets maybe three or four times you can actually see the person loss okay and then that is continue to repeat in itself and that is how loops work but we want to set a condition for that once you guess so you're going to set a guess limit so when you will be able to guess less than three or four and you are wrong then you lost the game okay so now let me actually guess rightly and then let's see what is going to happen so now let's see say what your guess is right so basically this is what we are trying to do but we are going to modify our code in order to get something amazing get something perfect okay to do that we need to add few more variables okay we need to create some variable to also be our guess limit so let's set a limit to whatever the person is going to get so let's set so let's say we see three so when you get three times we get three times you are wrong that means you lost the game and then let's also guess let's also make sure the person is having uh this person is able to have the chances to guess so let's say your if you don't have any more chances to guess we also need to do that so we can say out of let's say out of so let's 
let's say out of guesses, we set it to what? So we're going to set this one to false. Okay. So we're going to use boolean values over here. So basically, we assume that you have a chance to guess. So we say out of your out of guesses is now false. Okay. So we have chance to guess now. So let's see. Once your guess is not, once your guess is not equal to secret word and you are not okay so you say and not out of yes so this is actually what we want so that means you have a chance to guess so this is two statements over here so out of guess which is false which we assume that you have a chance to guess so now we are saying once guess is not secret words that means you have not guessed right and you are not out of guesses that means you have a chance to guess. And you're going to create an if statement. So we can say if. So now we are going to count. Okay. We are going to count now. And then this count is going to at least help us to check the number of times you, you guess. Okay. So if we are going to say guess count is less than guess limit. So this is actually something you want to do so once your guess count is less than the limit we've set then that means you have a chance to what guess so we're going to do it this way so all this code will be under this now so once your guess count is less than our guess limit that what we've set then that means you have a chance to guess so we can see guess is going to impose and we can ask you to guess okay else we can do something else so else the else you can see out of guesses okay so meaning you are out of what we'll set this one to true so true mean you are out of guesses okay so that is what we want to do so at least our condition is beginning to what we are writing now is beginning to make sense and finally the only reason why we break out of this condition is that you are out of guesses right if, if out of guesses if out of guesses so if meaning the person is out of guesses then we we'll print and say You lost so that is it so if you're out of guess you see you lost this game you, you lost a game else we we'll say you won okay so this is what we're going to say else we'll print out and see so we're going to bring this code down here Okay, so this is what we have now. Let me run this code and let's see. So now our code is actually going to work perfectly now. If I go ahead and say Samsung Sky, you see, it's asking me guess your secret word and I say Sky. Basically, what we store is Sky limit. Okay, so if I go ahead and type in Sky something, it will still be asking me, but we set our guess limit to three. So if I get another wrong one, then what? You lost the game. So basically our code is actually running nicely our code is running nicely let's run this again and then we try to get it right at the first time and then good we go your your guess is right so basically this is what this code is doing i'm going to go over the code again we want to actually use the loop to look through this code and be, allow somebody to guess a secret word which we have within our system so we are saying once you guess your guess is right that means whatever you say is this whatever word you guess is the same as our secret word then you go ahead and then what say your guess is right and then we'll print out this statement for you but when your guess is not right after three attempts then that means you lost the game but we are stating the condition over here if statement to buy to count the number of time you guess in order for us to know that 
if actually guessed three times. But before that, we are using a while statement. That's a while loop to loop through this connection. So we are saying whatever you see, whatever you guess, whatever word you see, your secret word, if it's not the same as our secret word, if it's not the same as our secret word, and you have a chance to guess, and then and not out of guessing, that means you have the chance to guess again. We should then count. We should then make sure that your number of chance you guess or the number of time you guess is less than the guess limit, the number of limit we set, which is three. If indeed the guess counts, the number of time you been able to guess is less than our set limit, then we will prompt you to guess a number. So anytime you guess, you anytime you guess a number, we add one to the count. So the account is starting from zero. We add one to that. So you to keep counting. So when it's up to three, then that means you are out of guesses now. So we can see out of guesses is now true. That means you are out of guesses. And then we're going to break out of this code and then say, if out of guesses, then we say print, you lost the game. Else, your guess is right. So basically, this is how to use loop to actually create a very simple guessing game. I'm actually going to be creating a series of videos on Python, different, different parts of Python, and it's actually going to help you a lot. So remember to subscribe to this channel if you indeed want to learn coding, learn the basis of IT, and some IT tricks. This channel is actually meant for you. You're really going to enjoy a lot from us. So remember to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload a new content. I'm going to end this video here. Until I come your way another time, stay safe. Bye-bye.